Hey, welcome to the vlog. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just want to prank you, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Let's start the interview. So I get plenty of time doing this, okay? Uh, we're interviewing Grendel, Grendel's mom of the dragon. Uh, tell me a bit about yourselves, your encounter with Beowulf, and how, what, you know, what led up to the encounter. Thank you. Let's begin the interview. All right, guys, my name's Grendel, and uh, I'm a very big, beefy dude. Uh, I'm pretty strong, too, you know. I'm not just, not just a big dude. I'm actually strong. I can, I can, I can fight anyone, and, you know, except Beowulf. But, uh, uh, yeah, um pretty normal I'm like a regular human being I got some uh some nice white hair coming out of my my black hair you know uh, that's just how we do it uh you know I'm just a mixture of two different human beings uh I do different beings in general you know uh, a sea creature and uh and the um the cane cane you know so um yeah so that's about me uh now I'm gonna tell you why I did what I did okay so what happened was um all right, so it was, uh, you know, 12 years ago. Now, this is before, you know, the actions of the story of Beowulf took place. 12 years ago, you know, I was a little adolescent, and, you know, uh, every day I'd go to my, my, my farm. I mean, sorry, I'd go to the market, and I'd, um, I'd work, all right? I'd work in the fields, uh, you know, get some cash, and then I would uh, buy some food to eat, and I would buy chickens, and what they did, you know, they gave me some reasonable prices at first, uh, you know, give some reasonable prices and I would buy my food and that's how I would uh you know survive I wouldn't eat any humans you know I'm, I'm half human I'm, I'm, I don't do that you know I don't eat my own bread my brethren you know uh so yeah um so what happened after that uh, this is this is actually the unfortunate part what happened was they jacked up the prices by like fifty dollars and I can't afford it. I told them I can't afford it and then my boss had the audacity to fire me. So, you know, I ate him and he did taste amazing. It was so good. He tasted like chicken, like chicken. Like it was nothing I've ever experienced before. And as soon as I ate him, I just, I just got this adrenaline pump and I was like, gotta eat more, gotta eat more. And then I just killed them all. And, uh, you know, they do taste good, uh, for some reason, the, you know, humans just intoxicate me, man, they feel, they taste so good, so, you know, after eating him, I just ate everyone else, and, uh, it tasted good, so, um, that's what happened, and then, you know, eventually, I just start, you know, you know, I didn't make that the first time I ate humans, you, I just made it a, a, you know, a daily thing, you know, humans keep repopulating and there's more of them, so I just kept eating and uh, tasting good, so, yeah, that's uh, how we do it, you know, I had my own food chain up on top, obviously, uh, uh, we ate some and then, uh, let them, uh, I did idea of, you know, eat something else, maybe some fish, I don't know, and then I'd wait for them to eat, uh, you know, regroup or reproduce and then they'd have more, so I just ate them. But I never ate a baby. That's just I'm just saying. Never ate a baby. I'm. I never ate a baby. But you know, I, I tasted good. So let me tell you about the fight. So you know, I'm going there. You know, going to the Heron. They're all eating, having a good time, and I'm just like, time for some free food. You know what I'm saying? Free food. Let's go. Let's have a party. But they're gonna be scared as soon as they see me. Someone's gonna eat them all. But uh, you know, so uh, I go into the Herat, the Hall of Herat, and uh, they're all asleep. And I'm like, okay. Wait, no, sorry. I I wait till they're all sleeping, and uh, you know, I I open the door. You know, ever so uh quietly. No, I'm just kidding. I busted in there. I said, free food. They were all sleeping. I came in there. I ate the first boy up. He tasted like chicken. I was like, yeah. Oh, that tasted good. And he had some spicy blood. That was like hot sauce on my chicken. But it tasted so real good. So I went inside there. And, uh, <coughs> I went inside there. And, uh, you know, the next person, he had some big arms. He was the last beefy dude. I hate that kid. He was a nice beefy dude, so, you know, I went to go take a chomp, you know, at his arm, and he grabbed me. I was like, what is this boy doing? He thinks he can fight me, the great Grendel, and you know what? He destroyed me. He ripped my arm off. I was like, oh, sh oh no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. 
I, I was I was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, it, I, I'm so scared right now. Just thinking about it, and he just scared me so much. I don't know. It, like, on being on your deathbed is a very scary thing. You know, I'm dead right now, but just talking feels good to be dead. When you're dead, you know, you can do whatever you want. But, when, but you know, dying is scary part. But, you know, let's, let's, let's not focus on that. Grendel, I mean, Beowulf is a vicious dude. Just ripped my arm in half. I was like, you know, the only thing I was thinking is I'll never be able to eat humans again. I was like, what am I going to eat in hell? So, you know, death is a scary thing. And that's why I did it. I didn't start off as a, you know, just that once I got the first taste of that human, because he angered me you know i just could have stopped so yeah that's what i do that's their fault for jacking out the prices that i couldn't eat anything else so I had to eat them thank you for your time yay hi my name is grindle's mom and you know um very beautiful woman i am am i right like i got a nice nose to swim under the water um by the way i do look like my son but you know i'm a monster i got his hair you know nice hair that he doesn't have he doesn't have red good hair he has some nasty white hair but you know we make fun of each other and tease each other but you know i'm the mom that is my son i'm gonna tell you why i did what i did so i was in the woods you know I was just taking a nice moonlight stroll, and all of a sudden, I see my son on the ground. He's all covered in blood, and I just had to had to get revenge for him. He was just on the ground, all limp, and, you know, I got lazy. I didn't want to bury him right there. I just brought him to my cave and laid him on the wall. But, you know, that's how we do it, you know. So, I go to Herod. Um, they're all sitting there awake, so I was like, all right, you know, I'm just going to the king castle. King wasn't there, he was at Harold's, but I saw the best friend with the arm. I don't know what he was doing, but I said, I need that arm back, and he was like, no, I'm just kidding. As soon as he saw me, he screamed, but I ate his throat out, I just, you know, I just ripped it out, and I started eating, and, uh, you know, my, my boy, my son, Grendel, always told me how humans tasted like chicken, now I knew exactly what he meant, that chicken was good, I mean, human was good, it was, a uh, you know, good human, um, so after I ate him, uh, you know, you know, I was, I was still hungry, so I, I took the arm, and I went and ate everyone else, and, uh, you know, so that's what happened, and then, uh, I took the arm back from, my, from them, and I escaped, but then out of nowhere, um, so I went to my house, and, um, I was just relaxing, you know, eating some of the, you know, leftovers from last night. I had some, um, fried lobster. It tasted pretty good, but, you know, things happen, and, uh, I had this man come out of nowhere and just scream at me, and he was, he said he was going to kill me, and I was like, okay. I, he had a sword, and I was like, you know, I drank a potion to save me from the, from the sword and the sharp pointy thing, so, you know, it didn't do anything, so, you know, um... I was okay. I was okay. He stabbed me. Nothing happened. And then I started destroying him. He was getting bopped. I was molly whopping him. He could not even stand up. Then, he took my magic sword that I got from my boy Jack Beanstalk. And he cut me in half and then later chopped off my head. You know, which is disrespectful. Who who does that? I'm already dead. He still cuts my head off. I, I don't know why. But, he did. So that's what happened with, you know, my encounter with Beowulf. I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Alexander Dragon. I will be telling you about my appearance and, uh, you know, how I came in contact of Mr. Beowulf. I was just relaxing in my cave and Actually, I'm going to tell you about me first. I'm a nice person. I do not mess with anyone. I just, you know, sit in my, my cave and I just hang out, look at my gold, go to sleep. I go out for, uh, you know, fresh air and get some flying. And I eat sheep. I eat sheep. Not humans. I eat sheep. But I go, I take a little nap. I come back home. I take a nap. And I go, I take a little nap. And, you know, I come back. My favorite chalice. In just ripped 
out of my 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 storage i had it in a closet a special closet and they he just ripped it out of my closet stole my chalice so i did what anyone else would i got mad i went and i i i, I hunted that boy down i killed him he tasted pretty good but and you know i was so i was still bad killing him would not calm my anger so i went to a village and i destroyed it so i guess bear wolf got mad and it came to me and we fought and I was destroying him, you know, fight, uh, he tried to stab me. Can you stop? I thought I'm doing a project, I gotta restart. As I was saying before my brothers, you know, interrupted me like that, uh, you know, just let you guys know that I was destroying Beowulf, because I have a big pride, alright? I was destroying Beowulf. I thought he was strong, but he was just not strong enough to defeat me. So what I'm about to, you know, hit him with that final blow. I get some 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 kid named Wiglaf, some some teenager called Wiglaf who comes and stabs me in the back, and I think Bear Wolf is down for the count. So I turn around and I go to destroy Wiglaf now, and I get stabbed in the in the stomach. I get stabbed in the area where I don't have my skills. I got double teamed. I thought they were mad, but they double teamed me and they stabbed me and killed me. Some BS, man. I can't believe it. I get mad to this day. But that's what happened. I am the dragon, Alexander. Yeah, one. Alright, to end this project, I got a little video or sound clip, so I hope you enjoyed. Mr. Spillard. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ting, the tingle, ski ra. Zaga. Wagwan, Kerry. Wagwan. Enough hashi. Yeah. Bayo Wolf. I really hate that guy. Ski ra. That guy. He's gonna take me to the sky, right. to the sky I swear that I can see the You're light, right. see the light Please gonna take me to the Ooh, sky, yeah. to the sky Yeah, yeah, yeah Ooh, Ooh, right. Please return my gold, right away Please return my gold, right away Please return my gold, right yeah, away Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm nauseous, I'm crying Cause they have killed my son Can't find him Where's he? My eyes are all cried out Lost in humans I will kill them all Kill them all Lost in humans I will kill them all Alright, thank you for listening this is dedicated to Mrs. Valeric, you can show any class this music video or just read this video if you want to. Hope you enjoyed it. I am the Man Rule Boba. Man Rule Balboa, the Unruly DJ Studio. Here we go. I'll see you later. It's me, Ryan DeGroote from Jamaica. Zaga, see you later. Before I go, let me cook some bacon, just for you, Kenny. Cook some bacon, just for you. <laughs>